Hey, this is back from Zeppelin. I will quickly show you how our new connected components feature works. We're now looking at a web project in Zeppelin. And if I switch over to the style guide tab, you'll notice that we have a bunch of components already. What's nice about organizing your components in Zeppelin is that when you switch back to a design and click on a layer, Zeppelin will show you immediately what component this layer is a part of. We will now connect this component in Zeppelin to the button component we have in our React code base. And this will help our team understand which React component this actually represents. Here in VS Code, I have a React project with some, with some components. And we will use this configuration file to map the components in our code base to the components in Zeppelin. Under the components array, we only have one connection for now. Our button JSX is connected to these three components in Zeppelin. And since I'm using Zeppelin's VS Code extension, I can also hover over any of the component names and it will show me how they look like. Let's take a look at the component source code to understand what Zeppelin will display. In this case, we have a very simple example, but regardless of how complex your components are, Zeppelin will display the documentation and the properties for any React component. In order to connect the components, I will now run Zeppelin's command line tool. Once this is done, anyone in Zeppelin should be able to see the details for this component, like so. We have the documentation. We also have a code snippet that's generated from the properties of this component. And if you have this file locally available, there's also an open button here that will take you back to VS Code. Notice that we have more links here, things like uh, a custom link, uh, a GitHub link, and Storybook. Let's take a look at the configuration file and see how these are set up. To add a GitHub link, you can just fill out this field and uh, enter your repository name. For any custom links, uh, you can add those here, and in this case, we just have the internal design system wiki. In this example, we connected a React project, but it's possible to use connected components with any platform or framework. If we take a look at the configuration file, we're actually using two plugins in this example. The first one's React. This is the plugin that grabs the documentation and generates the code snippets. And we're using Storybook, and this plugin generates links to your stories. We currently have a bunch of plugins that support different platforms and tools, including Angular, Swift, and so on. And these plugins, they're all open source, so if you want to build your own plugin, uh, you can do so either to use internally or to share with the whole community. I hope this guide was helpful. Uh, to get started using connected components, you can check out our documentation and uh, let us know if you have any feedback or any questions. Cheers.